This is Hamilton Today Sports for Friday, December 21st, 2012, exclusively on the Bay Observer, a fresh perspective for Hamilton and Burlington. Teddy Bears filled the ice of the Marcus Street Arena on Thursday night when the Blues scored their first goal in the second period, but three first period goals would prove too much to overcome as the Dundas Blues were defeated by the Guernsey Peach Kings 5-3. Brett Dell, Mitch Reed, and Derek Searle had home goals for the Blues. Joel Knight had a goal and an assist for the Glenbrook Rangers as they defeated the Chippewa Riverhawks 4-1. After a tie game midway through the first period, Glenbrook scored three unanswered goals in the victory. Glenbrook goaltender Mark Sagrat made 26 saves on 27 shots for the win in net. The Hamilton Tiger Cats announced Thursday that general manager and head coach Ken Austin made his first addition to the coaching staff. Tommy Condell joins as offensive coordinator and receivers coach. Condell spent the last three seasons alongside Austin at Cornell University. McMaster University star quarterback Kyle Quinlan signed a two-year deal with the Montreal Alouettes Thursday evening. Quinlan led the McMaster Marauders to the Vanier Cup in 2011, as well as an undefeated 8-0 season in 2012. Busy night on the ice tonight with five games taking place. The Hamilton Bulldogs return to Cops Coliseum tonight at 7.30, taking on the St. John's Ice Caps. The Hamilton Red Wings are on the road at the St. Michael's College School Arena, taking on the Buzzers at 7.30 p.m. The Glanbrook Rangers travel to the Dunsville Memorial Arena at 7.30 p.m., taking on the Mudcats. The Dundas Real McCoys host the first place Brantford Blast at 7.45 from the Marcus Street Arena. And the Stony Creek Junior Sabres host the Southwest Wildcats at 9 p.m. from Valley Park Arena. As always, you can follow us on Twitter at Ham Today Sports and keep up to date with your local Hamilton sports teams. Thank you for listening to Hamilton Today Sports on the Bay Observer. We'll see you tomorrow morning.